Thank you for your order and welcome to American Passport and Visa International. This is your step-by-step -step guide to ensure your application and shipping process are a success. You can pause, rewind, and refer back to this video as many times as you'd like. And remember, should you have any questions, you can also reach us anytime by phone or email. Let's begin. Your application must be filled out online and cannot be handwritten. To begin, click the Complete Form DS-11 online link, as seen on your requirement page. The link will take you to the U.S. Department of State website. Read the page carefully, check the box, and click the Submit button. Select Complete Form Online and click Submit. Complete the form by entering your personal information. Note that all fields marked with red asterisks are mandatory. Make sure to fill out the non-mandatory fields as best as you can. When ready, click the Next button to advance onto the next page. Continue through each subsequent page and remember to click the Next button to move forward in the application. When you arrive at the Passport Products and Fees page, select Passport Book. Or if you have applied for a Passport Card as well, select Passport Book and Passport Card. Under Processing Method, make sure to select Expedited. For Delivery Methods, select Free Standard Delivery and leave the Additional Fees checkbox unchecked. Disregard the total cost indicated and follow the payment method given later in the video. Click Next. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and place a check mark in the box, as seen here, and click the Create Form button. Don't follow the additional information available on this page. That information is intended for individuals who aren't using an expediting agency. We'll go over the next steps you need to do in just a minute. Once you've clicked the Create Form button, you'll be prompted to save the form or, depending on your computer, it may automatically open in your Adobe Acrobat Reader. If your form did not automatically open, locate it on your computer, open it, and print the form. It is important to print each page of the form single-sided. Applications that are printed double-sided will not be accepted. Make sure that you do not sign the application. That will be done at a later stage in front of an acceptance agent. You can now close the browser window and return to the requirement page. Click on Damaged Passport Form. This form should be completely filled out, signed, and dated. Great! Now let's gather the remaining supporting documents. First, print a copy of your checklist. It is important to print this checklist as you'll need to follow it closely to ensure you collect all the required documents for your application. Please note, Along with the signed checklist, a duplicate of all items marked copy should also be included. Next, you will need one passport photo of yourself, taken within the last six months, printed on matte or glossy photo quality paper. It must be in color and 2 by 2 inches in size. Your entire face must be visible, facing the camera against a plain white or off-white backdrop that is free of shadows, blurriness, dots, or graininess. Make sure to keep a neutral facial expression and have both eyes open. Clothing must be normal street attire and do not wear a uniform or a costume. Do not wear any headgear, hats, or jewelry that may obscure your hair or hairline. Dark or non-prescription glasses with tinted lenses is not acceptable unless they are worn for medical reasons, in which case a medical certificate may be required. Religious attire is acceptable if worn daily. However, in this case, a letter of explanation must be provided. Next, you'll need to submit your certified U.S. birth certificate or your most recent 5 or 10 years U.S. passport. If you're a naturalized U.S. citizen, your original naturalization certificate is required and please submit that with your application. Remember, damaged, mutilated, laminated, or passports that were issued with a one-year validity are not acceptable evidence of U.S. citizenship and will not be accepted. As well, a hospital-issued birth certificate is not the certified copy that is needed. 
You must also provide a copy of your valid driver's license or state ID card with an issue date of six months or longer. Make sure to include a copy of both sides of the card. If your name on the ID does not match the name on your citizenship, naturalization certificate or application form, then you must provide an original name change document. If you have applied only for a passport book, make your check out to the amount as seen here. Or if you have applied for both a passport book and passport card, make your check out to the amount as seen here. Important: Make sure to write the check or money order payable to U.S. Department of State. Do not abbreviate the word department, as checks or money orders written as such will not be accepted. Remember, the expedited service is available for passport books only and do not apply for passport cards. Passport cards cannot be expedited and they will be mailed within eight weeks directly from the U.S. Department of State to you through regular mail. All personal checks must contain a printed address and make sure to include your name and date of birth on the memo line. The government does not accept credit card payments for these type of payments. If you're applying for a one to four day service, you'll need to submit a copy of your airplane ticket or a travel itinerary generated by a travel agency indicating your name and date of travel. Business travelers may provide a business travel letter if neither an airplane ticket or a travel itinerary is available. Great, you have now gathered all the required documents. A letter of authorization along with your shipping label will be emailed to you shortly. The letter of authorization must be filled out by hand and signed using a blue pen. Black ink is sometimes mistaken for a photocopy. Locate the company name printed at the top of the document and write it on the courier company line as seen in here. For example, for APVI letter of authorization, write APVI on the courier company line. Lastly, place a check mark in the first two boxes and make sure to leave the third checkbox unchecked. Now you're ready for the final step. Remember, do not sign your application form yet. To finalize your application, you must appear in person at a designated post office or courthouse, where your passport application will be authorized by a local government official called an acceptance agent. To locate an acceptance agent close to you, click the AA Near You link as found on your requirement page. Inform the acceptance agent that you are using an expediting service to hand carry your passport application to the government for fast processing. The acceptance agent will then ask you to sign your DS-11 application form. Add his signature to the form. Check your ID and ask for all of your documents that you have collected. Seal everything into an envelope using an official seal or stamp. It is acceptable for the acceptance agent to insist on not sealing one or more items into the envelope. In the event that this happens, make sure you attach those items to the sealed envelope. Make sure that the acceptance agent returns the sealed envelope to you so that you can mail it directly to APVI. If the acceptance agent is unfamiliar or does not feel at ease about releasing the sealed envelope to you, refer to Chapter 10, Section 11 of their manual. This Department of State policy is called Hand Carry of Executive Application. Once the sealed envelope is handed back to you, please clearly write your first and last name on it along with your date of birth and date of travel. Then, place the sealed envelope into a shipping envelope and attach the supplied shipping label. Remember to send the envelope to APVI as soon as it is sealed. The seal on the envelope will expire after five days. Well done! You successfully completed your application process. Now simply send your documents to our office by visiting your nearest FedEx shipping center. Remember, to check the status of your application, click the Status Check button located on the APVI homepage. If you have any questions concerning your order, you can always reach us by phone or email. Our Washington, D.C. office is open for drop-offs and pickups Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. From all of us here at American Passport and Visa International, thank you and we wish you a safe and pleasant upcoming travel.